Adobe has been absolutely crushing it with new tools that leverage AI to give creators more freedom while we create. Of course, last year we got the incredible generative fill tool inside of Photoshop and recently enhanced speech, both of which are game changers. But now Adobe is doing it again and have introduced new revolutionary features that will change the way we approach our editing workflows inside of Premiere Pro. When we get them, of course, these are not yet in Premiere or beta, but they will be coming by the end of the year and I cannot wait for that. But let's dive into what was actually announced. The generative extend feature will allow editors to extend both video and audio clips beyond what was actually recorded. So if you're like me and you have found yourself wishing you had just a few more frames for a specific shot or audio, this is your genie in the bottle. Using generative AI, this tool is gonna give you those extra few seconds of footage either to allow you the additional beat for pacing or to avoid the insufficient frames pop up when using a cross dissolve. So once we get this, we'll be able to grab the generative extend tool and just drag our clips to create new frames you didn't have before, which is nuts. And again, you can extend audio clips as well, which means if you forgot to get room tone, as I often do, you can find a few seconds of quiet audio and extend that to create your own room tone for your edit. So gone are the days of using time remapping or other MacGyver level tricks to get around these issues. And Adobe is talking about how they're exploring ways to integrate Pika, OpenAI, and runway models into premiere as well. Object removal will do exactly what it sounds like. Like object removal in Photoshop, you can select an object in your frame and remove it from your footage with the click of a button. In the past, if there were distractions like a sign you didn't want or boom mics in your shot, you'd have to go through the process of removals using a clean plate, which is easy enough if you do have that clean plate and if your shot is static. However, add movement or the lack of a clean plate into the mix and things get tricky. In the early days of my show Film Riot, removals were very difficult and one of my biggest frustrations. But now with a few simple clicks, we're going to be able to do that needed removal regardless of your skill level. I'm also very much looking forward to creating clean plates on moving footage for compositing or even separating out different elements. And this last one is just insane. We've had generative fill in Photoshop for a while now, but with object addition, we're gonna be able to add new AI generated elements into our existing footage. Just like generative fill, the possibilities here are endless, whether you're using it to temp out an idea before sending it along to your VFX team or adding quick elements into your project without having to go over to After Effects and worry about assets and tracking. And some of the examples that Adobe showed off really have my head spinning with all the ways that I'll be using this. Increasing the amount of diamonds in the briefcase is such a great way to illustrate how simply this will help raise the production value of our work. And on top of the obvious, Premiere's Object Edition will also allow you to change the clothing and accessories of your talent to adjust the look of your characters in your footage. Let me run that back for you. You can change your talent's clothes in a video after the fact. I'm not entirely sure this isn't sorcery. You can also modify any objects in your video with different colors, textures, or style, or a million different effect ideas that are now spinning around in my head. Now, those are the three that are coming later this year, all powered by Adobe Firefly, which is ethically trained on licensed media, but there was one more thing Adobe showed off. Generative B-roll will allow us to use text prompts to create videos right inside of Premiere Pro. Whether that's making the perfect B-roll for the needed moment, creating a shot you didn't get on the day like a big establishing shot, or creating placeholders to fill later. It's one of the technologies that they're exploring with third parties like OpenAI, Runway, and Pika to bring the Premiere Pro. But there you have it, insane new AI tools for Adobe Premiere, each of which will be massively helpful in post-production, whether you work with a team or on your own. The amount of benefits that are going to come from these tools really is exciting, and not just for post-production. For me, these tools are also very exciting for pre-production and production as well. Having object addition for video that will allow me to test ideas while or even before I'm shooting is gonna be a massive boost in helping to achieve that ultimate vision, giving us more creative freedom than ever before. To see more about these new tools, take a look at the links in the notes below.